Restoration of the Bavianslöf, a business case, which are uh, where the opportunity is to to also uh, replace existing income streams with something else. This uh, essential oil business uh, is makes a lot of sense. It actually fits in very well within with our area and the environment because uh, on my farm for instance we have a nature reserve bordering the fields and in the evenings wildlife like kudus and whatever goes into the fields and there is no conflict so i think one of the main reasons why we choose this uh, essential oil project is that there is no conflict between the wilderness character of the place as well as the restoration projects that we're busy with and the other reason is these plants need very little water if you compare it with lucerne for instance it's a six of the uh, water supply that lucerne needs we need on this plant so we're farming in a water catchment area uh, for Kogadam, which actually supplies water to to a big city and also to the Gamtis Valley. So I think you need ecological sensitive areas like the Bavial's Cliff. Uh, you, we need to restore it to, to keep other areas in production. And But but for us who live here, for the farmers who live in the area, we must find ways of or farming with something that uh, use little water which enables us to restore the catchment area and uh, still make it the business case where, where people can live in the landscape where they not necessarily can must leave the landscape and I think uh, this, this, this project now creates a lot of jobs and there's also a lot of opportunities um, we can make oil, we can actually uh, do something with the oil, we can make products and uh, so I think the future of this is quite quite big um, and uh, yeah, that's probably the story. For us, uh, we busy restoring a landscape and we looking at uh, restoring soil in natural areas by planting back forests and speck boom and stuff like that but on the fields we must look at also restoring the soils uh, we've got uh, rosemary or lavender fields but in between the rows we've got 1.6 meters which we can plant cover crops just to, to bring organic material to the soil this is also a organic certified uh, project so we get twice the, the amount for our product if we do it organically and therefore it's very important to look at the condition of your soil and how you can put things right and bring it in balance so that the, we can have, have healthy soil which can produce healthy plants I think we can look at uh, what sort of cover crops we can plant and uh, you know, there are so many things which we need to do research on uh, and things that we don't know for instance we went to a field this morning where there's flowers only on the one side of the lavender plant we don't know what the reason for that is so uh, uh, I think there's so many things we we learn at this stage from this project that there's also opportunities for students to come here and, and, and probably look at stuff and look at our problems and see what we can do. And what about the compost? Well, we, we also uh, produce a lot of compost um, with, with the process of, of taking the oil out of the plants. 
So we all are, also need to, to look at how we we going to make successful compost and, and uh, um, how must we treat the, the, the organic material that comes from the, the, the distillation plant in such a way that we can use it on our fields. So. And do you think that students can teach you a little bit of how the soil life work? Or, uh, well, I, th I think if we can get uh, students that help us on the farm to, to probably make the compost and uh, show us how from their knowledge what we can do to speed up the process and uh, also because compost you must treat it well in a way because um, otherwise it doesn't work good good enough so um, I think it's important to have more knowledge about that so it's, it's also opportunities for the farm for the students to to learn about this area and what we do and and uh, be become involved with one of the processes that's part of the whole thing and, and yeah so there's a lot of opportunities here for, for students it's important to to have some uh, schooling in or knowledge uh, and then the practical thing is always different but I think if you've got the basic principles you know that you can apply it in, in practice much better um, so uh, yeah I think it's important to to learn at school but also to do it in practice. Mm -hmm.